hey, hey, hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Terry Ann Hyman with Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in and let's focus our energy for the week. There is so much going on. So let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up. All right. We're going to align our energy. We're going to look at drawings. We're going to talk about the cosmos. So come on in. This is your energy focus for this week, beginning today, the 13th, moving all the way through the 20th. We're in some big times. So come on in. Let's talk about it. And let's talk about three ways these cosmic influences can really affect you and the number one thing that you can do. So join me. Come on in and give me a share. I'm going to share that right now going to share this live broadcast to the Facebook group, Empowered Spirit Circle. I'd love to have you in the group. So come on over, join us. We have lots of stuff going on. Today I posted an amazing article on Reiki and some of the research. So come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle, join it. It's private, but just so that we can keep the sharing going on. All right. So here I found it. I'm going to share it. I see somebody's here. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. And also, if you would share this, share this with somebody that you know that may need some extra energy focus in their life right now. We have so much cosmic influence going on. Do you know what that means? Hey, Lucky K, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Do me a favor and share. I'm trying to get this out now and share it onto the broadcast so that we can move ahead and talk about all the many things going on. Yes. Cosmic influence, very important right now, absolutely. So join us, we're gonna take a few moments, we're gonna align our energy, I'm gonna talk about three of the most important influences that you'll notice this next week, and the number one thing you can do to work with the energy. Yes, that's exactly what we'll be talking about. So join us, come on in, I got one more share to go, and then we're gonna be good. So do me the same and share this as well. Just hit that share button. All right, here we go. Yay, all right. So, how is everybody doing this evening? Time to come in and focus for the week. So much going on that I wanted to take this opportunity and just share a little bit more with what these influences mean. Now, tomorrow on my Empowered Spirit Show, I'm gonna be interviewing Laurie Zielinski, Z Girl Astrology. Oh my God, we had so much fun. We've already recorded it. We're going to be airing it tomorrow, all these influences from last week's eclipse to next week's eclipse, to Mercury retrograde, to that 888 Lionsgate energy, all of that tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. So join me, 12 Central Time, it will be live. So what is going on right now? What is it that's happening? All right, so the next thing that's happened is that we've moved into Mercury retrograde. Now we actually have five planets in retrograde, which Laurie will talk about tomorrow as well. But this is Mercury. So sometimes when we have those outer planets going on, we don't feel them as much, right? Because they're just a little further out there. It's when we have these closer planets, like Mercury, we begin to really feel these effects. So many of us know this, right? Communications, words, travel, computers, airplanes, all of that can kind of get lost and confused because what it happens is it appears that Mercury is going back and it's backwards in its orbit. It's not really, but it just appears that way. But... We are affected by it. So the really the theme of this one, it happens four times a year, about really the theme of this one is to complete the incomplete, to really go back and look at what is going on, especially with this eclipse energy. Now that doesn't mean to get caught up in that, oh, I didn't get this right, I can't do this, I failed that. It doesn't mean that at all, no. It means go back and look at what it is that you really want. Reevaluate that project, stir it up, and then bring it forward, add into the world in a whole new way. All right, all this eclipse energy is opening up this big old portal for us to move through. It's like the universe is like pushing us through if we're aligned. All right, give me a hashtag align if you understand what that means. If this is of interest to you, how do we align our spirit with our physical, our mental, and our emotional bodies. That's what's key, and that's what the cosmos are reflecting to us as well. So yes, let me know if that's important to you. Can you feel that? Give me a hashtag yes if you can feel it. Give me a hashtag confused if you just don't know what this is about, but you do recognize that you are feeling some of these emotions. Because yeah, there's some major things happening right now going on. So what are the things that you're noticing? 
give me a hashtag comment below what are you noticing are you noticing that chaos are you noticing that roller coaster of energy are you finding yourself able to really take a chill because yes that's what mercury retrograde is also about chill out have some patience with yourself have some patience with your spirit and align those energies for you that's what's really key right now really key we need to ground our energy we've been talking about it for the last two weeks really grounding the energy feel your feet on the floor and releasing out right we started that last week with the full moon full moons are about releasing all right we had the eclipse in there so as you release notice where that shift occurs for you the more you release especially the mental mind right all that chatter release it out how do we do that we take breaths we become still all right because there are major effects going on whether you feel it or not but if you really want to feel it and you really want to be in alignment with your energy then what you need to do is just to be really still and be really quiet so that you can feel and know what that shift is all about for you it's big and the universe wants to help you but you have to be in alignment for that so that's the first thing. Let me know if that matters to you. Can you feel that shift? Give me a hashtag shift if you can feel that. Now, the other thing that's going to happen this next week into September is all that communication stuff, right? So what does that mean? That means that we have to slow down again. That means that we have to kind of like think before we speak, all right? Because yes, your communication is going to get a little wiry there. It's going to get a little confused. So really be clear when you have a conversation, especially relationships, partners, when you have a conversation, be really clear about your message. Be really clear about what it is that's coming out of your throat, out of that fist chakra, so that you could open up with clarity. Because yes, communication can be misunderstood. All right? Let me know if that's a problem for you. Do you recognize the words that come out of your mouth? All right? Yes, we've had a lot of energy out there in the universe. We had a lot of things going on yesterday in Virginia. All of that is miscommunication. All of that is coming from a place that none of us want, right? So right now we have that opportunity to go back and look at what our history is, to go back and look at where we are in our own hearts so that we can communicate a deeper sense of love, not leave, but not be caught in the sphere, all right? Hatred doesn't win over hatred. We have to really come into our own heart, and that's what our meditation today is going to be, dropping into that heart energy and putting it out there. All right, so communication is really important. So before you speak, drop out of the ego, move into the heart and open it up from there. That's gonna really help you. And then the other thing that's gonna really affect you is all of that underlying energy, all right? If you think about the, if you think about the eclipse and the way that the moon comes in between, right? It becomes the darkness around the light. Where is that darkness in you? What do you need to release and what do you need to really reflect on? All right. This is where that portal of energy, when those two allies, that portal of energy opens up. So where can you step through that portal of energy? Where can you open up and shift your work? If that's what you need, where can you open up and shift your power for your purpose? If you're already standing in that purpose, where can you take this portal of energy and find yourself lifting up into a higher vibration? Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. All of this cosmic energy is helping this higher vibration come forward. All right. We cannot be in denial. Let's listen to Marianne Williamson today. Hashtag not denial anymore of what's going on. We can't just say, oh, spiritually, that's what's supposed to happen now so we can open up. And I know I sometimes can say that too, but we have to say that with looking eyes out, feeling hearts opening. It begins within ourselves, right? It begins within loving ourselves so that we can move that energy out into the universe. So that's what's really important right now. Go into those secret truths about yourself. Are you loving you? Are you opening up to your heart so that you can share this with others? Are you caught in the shadows and the stress and anxiety of what your heart is all about, which can really be a tailspin of energy, right? And the eclipse is that tailspin. The eclipse is that roller coaster. So finding that alignment for you right now is really important. All right. Can you notice it? Do you notice where you are in that alignment of energy? Do you need some help with that? Let me know. Hashtag empowered spirit. If you need some help, I will certainly help follow up with that. Definitely. Because really the number one thing right now that you can do is slow down, be still, check in with your heart, 
vibrate with that heart. Ah, is the sound of the heart chakra. Vibrate with that and send that out into the universe. That's going to help you through these few weeks. That's going to help you to align with the greatest vibration of love for your heart and help the universe as well. We need to raise the vibration on this earth right now for all people everywhere. I am you and you are me. Let's remember that as we move into this portal of energy. Really important. It's no surprise that this eclipse, this full eclipse next week is coming right through the United States, is it? Is it any surprise at all? It's an awakening for us. It's like the cosmos is speaking to us, right? Wake up, America. Wake up. We can't be living in those fears that everybody's telling us. We have to come from the heart and have to appreciate each and every one, which begins by appreciating ourselves And the love that we have is the love that we can share. So yes, that's the number one thing you can do. Slow down, meditate, and open the heart, which we're going to practice in just a moment. All right, so I've drawn some cards for today using the wild unknown. All right, I was up at the medicine wheel earlier, sitting there, really feeling energy coming in. I'll be up there for the eclipse as well. So I drew some cards today to see what the messages were and how they align with what is going on in the universe. So let's just take a breath. Open up to this reading, looking at the cards. So the first one is our anchor card. It's beautiful, it's a butterfly. All right, it's actually the two of pentacles. All right, so that is a duality in pentacles, which is generally our money, our physical, right? And look at that transformation. So find the balance in your work right now. Find that balance and raise that vibration in transformative energies, right? That's what butterflies are about. So perhaps you've been struggling a little bit, maybe in your work or your purpose, pull it together. Look at both sides of the coins, those are two. Balance that energy for the highest good, all right? That's our anchor card. Where is that transformation? That portal of energy, right? Where is that transformation that that portal can lift you up? Trust, trust in that portal of energy. Because the next card that comes up, I love it, is the star card, yes. It is a star card, and that reminds us to look to the stars. That reminds us of all this cosmic energy. Don't lose hope. Don't lose your faith. Go outside. Look at the stars, the moon, the sun. Look at the, the asteroid showers. Look at it all and learn from that and be still. Have your faith. Don't give up. Don't give up at all. Let this energy shift you where you need to be. And the next card reminds us of this, all right? It's the Six of Swords. Bury that shit, folks. Bury that old stuff. Excuse me. Bury that stuff that no longer serves. And then let the rest rise up and create that rainbow. This is exactly what this energy is all about right now. All right? Bury it. Let it go. And then let that transformative energy rise to the top. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Be that transformation that you want. Use this portal of energy to open up. Now, interestingly enough, we got this card last week, too, in the same place, all right? It's the Daughter of Cups. Now, this is reminding us to not to get all over the place, all right? She's got all this creative energy in this card, the Daughter of Cups. She's got all this energy. There's a beautiful rainbow coming down here, ground, reminding us to ground. This is key. This stirrup of energy can really get you in a tizzy. That's why it's important to ground, to feel your feet on the earth and to ground Ground that creative energy, all right? There's so many creative people around. Today I was out at Southern Makers and yesterday Pepper Place. So much creativity going on. So much that the brain does with all this creativity. And that's what we want. But we need to be grounded to bring it into the physical, all right? Go back to that card. That's our anchor card to bring it into the physical. We want to do that. Transform it. Don't give up. I love the star card appeared tonight. Beautiful, beautiful card. Hey there, T. Love it. All right, bury that stuff that ain't working. All right, it is time. How many times do we need to see this message, right? Do it. Energy follows intention. And then let that transformative energy rise up to that rainbow of energy, to that infinite possibility. It's there. Six is about change, social change. That's what we need. Come into the heart. Absolutely. Hey, Artisha, how are you? And then the Daughter of Cups, she comes around again to remind us to stay grounded, reminding us to stay grounded, definitely. Now, I drew an overall card. It's actually the bottom of the deck. I've been doing this recently, and it's the Empress. 
All right, this is a beautiful card to remind you to be the mother of this earth. Yes, right now, to be the mother of this earth. She's the mother, the empress, the house of knowledge. Get with the trees. Go outside. Look at the stars. Look at the moon. Know where you fit into the cosmos. We're but a speck, but we can magnify our energy. We can raise that vibration right now. The universe is calling all of us as light workers, as energy workers, as healers to get out there and do this, to open our hearts and shine that light, to be abundant in our energy, transform it, move through that portal. Don't give up. Hold the stars and account with you. Yes, you have a guiding star out there. Bury the stuff. Let all that stress and struggle get out of here and then ground. Don't forget to ground. Even that emotional energy, let it go and just ground as you become the mother the goddess of this mother earth right now. Yes, it is up to us to do this. It must start with us. We must transform that energy into the earth and spread it all around. So much happening, so much going on. Take a deep inhale. Ah, and exhale. I love these cards. They're really beautiful and really express where we are right now. So let's just take this time now, bringing all this together, these next few minutes and ground our energy and open our hearts, sending it out all around the world, really important right now. So fill the feet on the floor. And open up the breath. Feel it coming up the body. And then exhale, sending it all the way back down through your feet deep into the earth. Just send all that excess energy, send it down deep into the earth. And inhale the breath all the way up the body to the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it all the way back down. Feel the feet on the floor. Ah is the sound of the heart chakra. So as you inhale, breathe up. And as you exhale, ah open the heart drop into the heart feel it expand as you inhale bring the breath all the way up and as you exhale ah, and just let the spirit align with the physical body align with the mental and the emotional feel the shoulders together the hips and the hips the feet and the feet inhaling and exhaling ah few more breaths inhaling and exhaling ah sending it out dropping into the heart and on the next inhale open that breath out in front of you send it out right from the heart out ah and as you exhale, send it all the way behind. <sighs> and just allow this sound to carry you forward and to connect with all the light around the earth. See the earth bathed in beautiful love for all mankind. Let peace prevail on earth. Let us open our hearts for each and every one right now. Pull your energies in. Reconnect with your spirit right now. Realign your energy. If you need to shift your course, shift it now, this next week. If you need to strengthen your path, strengthen it now, these next weeks. This next week. Align the energy stay focused don't get caught up in the what ifs what words any of that course correct my favorite term and align realign reconnect re-strengthen your commitment to your spirit right now as you move forward through these next week these next eight days don't get caught up in the fear. There's a lot coming forward, a lot coming forward. No wonder it's coming at this time with the eclipse. No wonder. 
Take a nice deep inhale, connect the feet to the floor. Send Mother Earth some love. Just imagine a crystal ball over your head. See your name in red. Let that be a magnet and just draw down this beautiful force of energy, of light, of fresh energy for you. Feeling grounded, feeling centered. As we open up to our spirit, to your spirit, from the heart out. Thanks, Tina, for joining me. Thanks, all of you, for joining me. Be sure to share this. I'll be on Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow with Lori Zielinski, Z Girl Astrology. She has so much to offer. We had so much energy going on. I'm so excited for the show. Listen in. Lots of great information about this whole month and everything, really, up in for like six months of energy. So join us tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. Take this energy with you tonight. Ground all week. Be still. Be patient with yourself. Realign your purpose. We need you. We need light workers, energy workers, healers to raise the vibration for love and for peace all around the world. Thanks for joining me. Come join me in the Empowered Spirit Circle where more conversation continues there. Have a great night. To your spirit. Namaste. <laughs> Thanks, guys.